Good afternoon and welcome to POG, Philly Outdoor Growing Gardening Life. Um, today's topic is marigolds. As you can see, my marigolds are yellow and orange. My marigolds are in two rows. I buy them um, and I space them orange, yellow, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, orange, yellow. Marigolds come in a wide variety of colors from white to red bright oranges, oranges with red and them, all kinds of different varieties. Marigolds can also be six feet tall. You can get some good sized marigolds, okay? Depends on what you want for your garden. Um, often, also, okay, so things we need to talk about with marigolds. When you mulch, you don't want to mulch right up against the stem because they will cause it to be too hot, okay? So don't mulch right up against the stem. You do want to deadhead, and as you can see, I deadheaded um, and I drop my heads right in the ground here and we'll talk about why I do that and we'll talk about what that looks like later um, Marigolds bloom spring through fall. I believe that if you put your marigolds out early spring You'll get a good season from them during out the summer If you wait till it gets warm, you're not going to get a really nice season out of them I think they take better in the spring, okay? They deter aphids, spider mites, plant bugs, slugs, snails, caterpillars, cabbage worms. And so you'll find these in a lot of people's vegetable gardens. And what they're doing is they're trying to keep away some of those pests that I just mentioned. Um, also, they need six hours of sunlight. So this is direct sun. And you know, my handy dandy notebook. I always keep my journal with me. Um, most of these are annuals. People say, but it comes back every year. That's because the seeds have dropped into your soil and then they just regrow next year. That's all. It is not because they came back. It's just the seeds have fallen. And I'll talk about that. Um, too much fertilizer can cause you to have less flowers. So be careful what you fertilize. I, again, always fertilize everything. Um, banana water. I don't put any eggshells down here. I do put coffee grinds down because I'm still keeping away the squirrels and the cats and all that kind of stuff. So just so you know, I do do that. We're gonna go up on the table and I'm gonna take one of these heads and I'm gonna show you why we deadhead and what happens when you deadhead correctly. So come on up, let's follow me to the table. looking at the beautiful flowers that I'm growing. And if you watch my uh, channel, you'll notice that a lot of these flowers that I have have their own little um, session of discussion. So here we go. We have in my hand three marigold seeds. Now, when you go to the store, you probably buy marigold seeds and you get probably maybe 50 for $1.89. Well, why buy them when you have them already in your garden? So I'm gonna put them on the table and I'm gonna peel back the leaves. The petals are all off now. And then I'm gonna crack it open. And there are your seeds. You don't need to buy another seed of marigolds unless you want a different variation. Like if you want a different color, I know this is orange. And here's the funny part. There's no way of knowing what color these seeds are gonna be next, what color um, the seeds are. So like, I won't be able to say, oh yeah, these are all the orange ones. So if I want just all the orange in one container, then I need to make a container for just orange. This one happens to be yellow, so I'm gonna pull out the yellow seeds. So when they grow next year, it'll be a surprise to me which colors I have. Now, you see I have leaves in there. I'll go back and I'll pull out those leaves before I store them, okay? This is Kim, POG. I hope you enjoyed our conversation on marigolds today. Keep growing, keep learning.